Did you know that Benjamin Franklin ended up on the biggest money bill, not only because he signed the US Declaration of Independence, but primarily because of his books on wealth and success? Do you dream of earning millions that come to you without too much effort? Well, today, your dreams are destined to come true. In this video, you will learn all the financial secrets and tricks of finance described by Benjamin Franklin. Be careful because his advice helps such billionaires as Warren Buffett and Richard Branson, as they often said in interviews. Maybe you'll be next, so watch the video till the end. Welcome to the main channel on finance. Join the Future Millionaires Club by clicking the subscribe button now. More than 250 years ago, Benjamin Franklin combined several proverbs about wealth and success from his annual Poor Richard's Almanac, which he wrote for 25 years under the pseudonym Richard Saunders. The resulting essay was published as a preface to the 1758 Almanac and was later called The Way to Wealth. It has been reprinted in more than 100 languages. Now people deal with poverty by not allowing it to multiply, described Franklin's writing. What does the path to wealth consist of according to the trickster Benjamin Franklin? And can his thoughts really help you forget about the lack of money forever? You can find out right now. If a man does not know how to keep what he has earned, he may work all his life without rest and die without keeping even a four pence coin. The rich table leaves a meager bequest. If you want to be rich, think about saving as much as you think about earning. While rich people focus on earning, they usually have at least three sources of income. Wealth is also defined by saving and investing. As Ramit Sethi writes in his bestseller, I Will Teach You To Be Rich, on average, millionaires invest 20% of their family's income each year. Their wealth is not measured by the amount they earn each year, but by their savings and investments over a certain period. So, if you want to get rich, you have to pay yourself first and start doing it as early as possible. Because when you invest, the money starts working for you. Taxes are indeed very high, but we have many other taxes that are much heavier for some of us. We pay twice as much tax for our idleness, three times as much for our pride, and four times as much for our stupidity. Franklin derived this wisdom about wealth from a story that happened to him as a child. When he was seven, he liked a whistle that made a delightful sound, and Benjamin did not hesitate to spend all his savings on it. He did not even try to lower the price, but simply paid the amount named by the neighbor boy. This purchase gave Franklin great pleasure. He never parted with his whistle and whistled it nonstop. However, his loved ones did not find this purchase as charming. They explained to the boy that for that amount of money, he could buy himself four such whistles. Financial management has much more to do with psychology and your mindset than you might think. The rich think differently than the middle class. For example, they don't fear uncertainty. They are focused on making money, have no regrets about the past, and see money as their friend. As millionaire Steve Seibold, who made his fortune on his own rights, the path to wealth begins with changing the way we think about making money. Let's be clear once and for all, anyone can become rich. If you want to stand out from the crowd, start with your mentality. Stop being lazy. Become less proud and more intelligent. Get rid of the things that are worth more than the money that goes to the IRS. Laziness makes everything hard and diligence makes it easy. Those who get up late run through the day and barely finish their work by night, while laziness weaves so slowly that poverty soon catches up with it. Whoever goes to bed early and gets up early is always healthy, rich, and smart. Success did not come to Franklin overnight either. It took him a decade to go from vagabond and apprentice in many London print shops, where he did the dirty work for the bosses, to opening his own store and turning it into a profitable business. At this time, he led a Spartan lifestyle and was much more hardworking than any of his competitors. Benjamin even viewed his work as entrepreneurial. The longer he worked, the more he could learn. Such diligence guaranteed career advancement and thus increased his pay. Rich and successful people spend more time at work and they like it. After studying the lives of 177 millionaires for five years, Thomas Corley found that 86% of the rich work an average of 50 hours a week or even more and only 6% of those surveyed feel unhappy about the amount of work. Most rich people use the extra time before sunrise. About 50% of the millionaires in Corley's study who made their money by their own labor woke up three hours before work began. You might think that a little tea or punch now and then, more expensive food, nicer dresses, and a little entertainment don't make much difference to your wallet. But remember, 
Small savings create big capital. Beware of small expenses. A small leak can sink a big ship. Small seemingly insignificant purchases have a way of adding up. Modern society is designed to help us get rid of the future. There's no getting away from it. Money is easy to spend, and it's especially easy to waste it on little things. The problem is that this little spending adds up and before you know it, you owe yourself millions, writes financial consultant David Bach in his book, Smart Couples Get Rich. He recommends writing down all expenses for at least a week to determine where you can cut back. Then divert the money you save on those unnecessary daily expenses into a savings or investment account, and over time it will turn into a decent amount. The reason this simple concept is so important is this. If you make yourself believe that you can find an extra $100 a day to put into a savings account, you can take advantage of a concept called the miracle of compound interest explains Bach. Diligence is the mother of luck. If you want to be rich, you need luck, writes Franklin. The good news is that everyone can succeed on their own and that is exactly what rich people do. For luck to come into your life, get used to persistence, especially in the face of hardship and failure. Perseverance makes you unstoppable. It is this quality that allows you to learn what doesn't work and to experiment constantly until you find what will work as it should. Perseverance is the biggest contributor to shaping your own luck. The lucky ones are those who persist, writes Benjamin. The desire to get rich does not make you rich. It is merely the power to be used to achieve wealth. The truths Benjamin Franklin described today form the perfect formula for achieving wealth. Yes, it takes effort. But if you really want to own millions, your desire is the main source of strength that will help you overcome all the obstacles on your way. Besides, it's been proven that all our accomplishments lie in overcoming. The harder the obstacle, the sweeter the joy of victory from overcoming ourselves. Laziness, flaws, worldview, and attitudes. This means that we have become better and stronger. That is, we have increased our own value. We overcome ourselves and so over time we get the necessary core. It allows us to be more self-confident and be able to clearly manage our own self-organization. With these skills, you will accomplish more in a week than you would in a year without them. And this was the main channel on finance. Subscribe and get rich!